You're watching the Asus ROG Phone 5 Benchmark Test. This is the 256GB model with 16 gigs of RAM. One more thing to note, the phone is set on X mode, which is the phone's high performance mode. We're going to be running Antutu, Geekbench 5, and 3D Mark Benchmark Tests. I will be allowing the phone to cool down in between each of the benchmark tests, so the phone can be running on an idle temperature for each of the tests. Alright, so before I start the first test, I'm going to check the temperature. What about 27.5 degrees Celsius. Alright, now I'm going to start the Antutu test. Let's take a quick temperature test. We're at about 38.6 degrees Celsius. So the phone scored 822,142 and used up about 4% battery during that test. All right, so before we run the next test, we're gonna quickly check the surface temperature of the phone. It's at about 27.6 degrees Celsius. Now I'm gonna run the Geekbench 5 benchmark test. All right, so the test is done on single core. It's at 1123 and on multi-core it's at 3672. The temperature is at about 35.6 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to check the phone idle temperature once again, now that the phone has had some time to cool down. It's at about 27.9 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to run the 3D Mark benchmark test. Alright, now once the test is done, I'm going to check the surface temperature. It's at about 34.2. And the overall score is at 5,770 with an average frame rate of 34.6. Alright, I'm going to check the surface temperature of the phone one last time before the final test. It's at 27.4 degrees Celsius. The final test is the 3D Mark Wildlife Stress Test and what this test does, it runs the same test multiple times in different loops to determine how the phone will run during the long period of time. Alright, let's go ahead and start the test. Alright, so the surface temperature is at 52.9 degrees or 53.6 degrees Celsius. For the scores, best loop score is at 5,753, lowest loop score is at 5,420, and the stability was at 94.2%. So that's really good because the test basically shows the phone was very stable throughout the entire testing process. And as far as the loop scores go over here, you can see there isn't any significant drops or any spikes. It's very stable all the way through. As far as battery goes, it went from 91% to 78% during the testing process. And the processor temperature shows from 27 degrees Celsius to 46 degrees Celsius. 
frame rates were from 23 frames per second to 42 frames per second. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.